What's up guys, James Tech here. Today we're going to be discussing Apple's new 10.6.6 .6 update which was released today. Now if we go to the Apple menu and click about this Mac, you'll see that we are on 10.6.6. .6. Now to update uh, to 10.6.6, .6, you simply go to um, software update and select the update and update. And today I also noticed that there is a update for iWork as well, which um, did some stability stuff. So the main thing in this update is of course the Mac App Store. Now you can go to it by clicking this icon which is automatically put in your dock or by clicking the Apple menu and clicking App Store. So App Store has loaded and we sign in by clicking sign in here but we're not going to do that. Now this is my first time opening up the app so we're just going to make this um, bigger. So just drag this out. Now the main thing that excited me about the Mac App Store was being able to buy single apps. Now in the UK it cost £45 to update from iLife 09 to iLife 11 and with that I'd be paying £45 for two applications I don't even use and that is Garage, GarageBand and iWeb. So it basically £23 for an application or £22.50 for an application not the best so we're going to click on iLife 11 here uh, just going to click on iLife 11 now that there is absolutely incredible Eight ninety nine for an application I was I was hoping ten uh, nine ninety nine. sorry but eight ninety nine. that's absolutely awesome so um Basically, what you will do is you'll click Buy App, and basically, it will, like it does an app update, it will basically take over this iMovie application here with like a little bar across the top, like it does on the iPhone, and it will update it. And obviously, it will take um, ten pound or eight ninety nine out of your account. Now, I haven't got any money on my account at the moment, but I'm going to be going out and buying a twenty pound iTunes gift card, so then I can update these. And the size is 563 megabytes, which is not bad, not bad. And if we go back to featured, right here, we have top paid and top three, top free. So we're going to click top free. And as you can see, we have Twitter. So we're going to uh, download this, and we're going to put in our Apple ID. Obviously, I'm covering this up. And you put in your, your password, sign in, and it uh, just says terms and conditions have changed, so we need to click OK, and we need to click I have read and agree. So now, as you can see, it goes right down into the dock, and it is downloading. As you can see, Twitter has downloaded. Now, we're going to put this over by TweetDeck. So um, I don't know whether this Twitter application will um, be um, taking over from TweetDeck. So we're going to launch into this Twitter app. So we're going to put in our usernames. And sign in. And in the main window here we can see all the tweets from the people we're following. Which is nice. And this app reply system which is all your app replies from people, um, direct messages, um, lists from the list, so that's the tech inform list, um, search for people I believe, uh, or know your profile, and search there. And down here um, we can click preferences I believe, and my image subject is a TwitPic. Accounts, we can add more accounts, so we can add more accounts if we've got more accounts. I don't so we're not going to do that. But basically we're going to post a tweet now. So let's see how we post a tweet. It's not as obvious as you would have thought. You would have thought there was a bar across the top. Maybe it's under profile. Tweet. Tweet. 
file new tweet. Ah, uh, there we go. File new tweet. So we're going to put um, just downloaded the Mac app store. Sending this tweet whilst doing a demo video and press enter and or tweet and then it will tweet it out for us as you can see it's there so we're just going to minimize that so you see we've got all of these free apps which are obviously free and we can scroll through and there's looks like there's 81 apps which have been developed for the app store which are free at the moment so there's none of them which I really want at the moment so we're gonna go back to featured top paid and as you can see uh, we have Angry Birds which is really cool we have Chopper 2 which is a chop game you pick up people and then like take them to the top of the mountain we have iPhoto which is 899 flight control Aperture, which is a photo program, iMovie and Pages. Now, as you can see here, it says installed. That's because I already have it installed and it is the latest edition. When Pages is, when if a new pay, uh, version of Pages is released, so um, Pages or iWork 11, then I will have the option to update. But at the moment, I don't. So as you can see here, Numbers and Keynote are installed because these versions here are iWork 09 and I have I work 09 down here so we can scroll down and we have some more apps so shortcuts for the keyboard um, Mac desktop which is um, I, I've used that before but I can't remember what it does but yeah and um, we got solitaire solitaire So yeah, you can scroll through and obviously buy what you want. Now, if we go back to featured, um, obviously we have the search option up here, so we can put in Apple Inc. and search, and it will obviously give us all the ones that have been released by Apple. We can put in um, Rovio Mobile, and that will bring us uh, Angry Birds. We have the top charts. So top free, top paid, top grossing um, categories, which we have in the normal app store. Purchases, which is ones that have been downloaded. Updates, and obviously updates are going to give us updates for the app. So say if we downloaded a new version of iMovie from the store, I believe that we will go to here to update it, or we might do it in the software update. I don't know whether in the future this app store is going to be used to update all our apps instead of the Apple software update feature that might um, come into fruition. Don't know about that. So, um, yeah, this has basically just been a quick demo of the Mac app store. So I will definitely be um, getting the newer version of iMovie 11 and iPhoto 11. I might download uh, Angry Birds, but not really bother about that because I do have two versions of it on my iPod Touch. So yep, it's just basically what it says on the tin, just a Mac app store. Basically apps for the Mac. Now we can, this is the free app, so we can just hit free. Two point six megabytes, so it shouldn't take long to download, it's just contacting the server. Not sure why that's taking so long, but but yeah, um, well, usually that would go down into the corner here and download. So this has just been my um, overview, my first views and first look for myself as well of the new Mac App Store. Um, I hope you hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It all helps. Um, check out our website techinform.us for all the latest stuff in technology and lifestyle 
and uh, check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash joetechie, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.